in this video, I want to talk about one of the problems that uh, Aaron sent me. Uh, it is question number 10 and the test that you took uh, which is complex numbers. Okay, so the question is like this. The modulus of the complex number is this. Uh, the modulus is... Uh, I want to find the modulus of this complex number. So, so you have a numerator and you have a denominator. So let me write the formula. Uh, so this complex number is divided by this complex number. So the formula that you have to use is V1, uh, if it is say R1, uh, so it's theta, theta 1. And if R2 is uh, Z2, sorry, Z2 is R2, so it's theta 2. Then the formula that you should know from the textbook is Z1 on Z2 is R1 divided by R2 times this theta 1 minus theta 2. Now this formula has come from the dim valve theorem. Okay, so you can refer that in your textbook. So basically, this is the modulus. Okay, so you don't need to worry about this. This argument is not necessary but let's do it so yeah so our z1 is cis 2 pi by pi raised to the whole three. now using the dim -Wolf's theorem so here the modulus is one okay now what is the zim, uh, dim -Wolf's theorem if z is equal to r cis theta uh, z raised to n is r raised to n cis n theta now these are formulas you should know by heart or mostly most probably it is there in your formula sheet so using this formula of dim valves this is one cis so multiply this three to this argument which is going to be six pi on our focus is only this. This is, doesn't. It's not going to be of any use in the question. Uh, so now the next is Z2. Now Z2 is in the rectangular form. So Z2 uh, is 2i times uh, 1 2i times 1 plus root 3i. So let's expand this. So if we expand it, this is 2. So Z2 is going to be 2i plus, let me write that. So this will be 2 times root 3, 2 times root 3i squared. I hope you know i squared is negative 1. So Z2 is going to be, um, this is going to be minus, so minus 2 root 3 plus, plus 2, 2i. Two so we just need the modulus of that. So here let me write it. So for Z1, so let me use a different color. For Z1, what, what are we interested in? For Z1, R1 is 1. That's all we need because we want to find the modulus of this complex number. So the modulus of this complex number would be basically R1 divided by R2. So to find R2, we have to just use the distance formula. So R2 would be square root of minus 2 root 3 the whole squared plus 2 squared. So this is going to be square root of, what is this? This is minus 2 squared is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. So 12 plus 4, which is square root of 16, which is 4. R2 is basically 4. So our question is, what is the modulus of this complex number? So the modulus of that complex number would be R1 on R2, which is going to be 1 on 4. And that is option E. This is your 